Welcome back to Goalie Training Pro TV. Maria here. I am an exercise physiologist. I specialize in off ice training for hockey goalies. And today I have something very special for you adult league or beer league goalies. So if you're one of those adult goalies who struggles with inconsistent play or aches and pains that are gradually kind of getting worse, feeling like or knowing that you're losing a step and really wondering in the back of your mind, like, hey, I, like, I wonder how many more seasons I'm going to be able to keep playing. And maybe, frankly, playing isn't as much fun as it used to be because you can't perform the way you want to perform. That is who this video is for. I have something that is exactly what you need. It's called the Beer League Boot Camp. <laughs> so I'm gonna walk you through it and I'm gonna kind of show you what it's about and how I purpose built this program exactly for adult goalies to give you what you need, but so that you can still get it done with your busy schedule and like, yeah, you're not trying to make it to the NHL. You just wanna feel better and play better on the ice. I get it, I'm one of you, I get it. <laughs> So let's take a little bit closer look at just what it is, how it works, what I was thinking when I put it together. And really, if you're a recreational adult league goalie or a very competitive one, it's gonna tick the boxes for you. Again, it's that feeling like, may I feel like I've lost a step. Does my team feel like I've lost a step? And every season you see younger and younger goalies coming into the league and it's like, it's getting a little warm in here. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's fix that right now. I'll show you what, how we do it. So it comes just as a PDF manual so that it's really easy for you to download, store on your phone, store on your computer. Uh, and we go in and there's really three parts. There's the training manual that explains the different phases. I'll quickly walk you through them here in a second because to me, it's really important that you know why are we doing what we're doing and why does this program feel like it starts off really easy and there's a purpose for that. So I'll kind of walk you through that. Then there are your training plans. So there's no guesswork. This isn't a laundry list of exercises that you could do, you know, in some order or in repetition range. It gives you the exact workouts that you need to do. And I even give you a schedule of, hey, on this day, do this workout. Here's the exercise. Here's exactly how many sets, how many repetitions, what exact tempo to use, and 80% of the exercises, you're gonna say, I don't even know what, I've never even heard of that before. So there's a, a little video link where you can go to a video tutorial of me showing you exactly how to do it. So there's no guesswork at all. I, hate, I don't like guesswork in training programs. And then the final part is your training journal. And so that's where you record your workouts so that you can see your progress over time. Or if you want to repeat this program, it's an in-season program. So maybe next in-season, you're going to come back and do the workouts again. Well, then you have a record. Hey, what did I use last time? So you're not constantly kind of um, reinventing the wheel. So the, the first part just, yeah, walks you through exactly what everything is. There's a really nice breakdown of the four different phases. Just because you're an adult league goalie doesn't mean we throw exercise physiology and program design out the window. You still need to use, or I still need to apply those um, principles that I use to train Olympic athletes and professional athletes. I have to apply it to you, but in a way that suits where you are and where you're trying to get to. So let's kind of dive in. I'm going to go over to the whiteboard and let's have a look at what is each one of these phases and how does it help you perform better on the ice and stay healthy on the ice. We'll start up here with your core reset and this is really the foundational phase of the program. It focuses on core stability, targeting some specific muscles in your torso, in your core, we also incorporate some breathing and we work on specific movement patterns. So you're gonna look at the workout and you're gonna be like, this is so easy. <laughs> and then you're gonna go through it and some of the exercises will be easy for you. And some of them will be very simple, but you'll find actually my body doesn't like to do that. Or when I do that the way I'm supposed to do it, I feel this one muscle that's just exhausted and it's screaming. Or I find that I get some discomfort when I do that which again is a little red flag that's like, okay, well let's, how can we clean up that pattern and get the right muscles doing the work so the joint can move the way it's supposed to move. So the benefits of the core reset phase are we recalibrate, recalibrate your body awareness, uh, we improve your breathing mechanics, and we shore up that 
core stability so that it's not just about having strong abs, it's about knowing how to stabilize your torso. Think of this phase really as the building blocks, the foundation that we're gonna build everything else on top of. And that leads very nicely into phase two, which is flare dynamics. And here we start getting more specialized, more specific, especially in terms of mobility and hip mobility in particular. So teaching you how to use the muscles that control your hip joint, think of them as the rotator cuff muscles of your hip, even though that's technically not really a thing. Uh, but we're also going to lay the foundation here for dynamic stability. The benefits of this phase are there will be noticeable improvements in your ability to flare your pads on the ice, to move laterally with more precision. This phase sets you up to move more freely, but still with control. Then we move on to phase three, which is dominant resilience. This phase is all about building power and durability because ain't nobody want a goalie that's injured all the time. So we want you to be explosive, but we need to make it so that you can stay healthy. So what we're gonna do in dominant resilience is build a lot of strength and power in specific muscles. And then we're going to build smarts and stamina in other muscles so that you have that killer combination of being explosive, even under fatigue, you know, those times when the game is actually on the line. And the benefits of this phase are that you build that strength and fortitude to be dominant and consistent game after game and uh, like have your team always skating to you with a huge smile on their face at the end of every game uh, rather than just trying to kind of like not make eye contact in the dressing room after the games when you blew it. <laughs> But really every goalie wants to be the backbone of the team that everyone can count on game after game. That's what we're going for in phase number three, which brings us to phase number four. Move the camera over there. This is me pretending I have a cameraman. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, cameraman. Sorry been a long day. The final phase is velocity fusion and just like the name implies it combines your mobility, your stability, your strength and your speed all into one comprehensive training phase. The benefits of this phase are you're going to merge all these newfound skills from the previous three phases so that you're actually using your mobility, your functional strength, your stability, your speed, your stamina on the ice to move without even having to think about it. This is the phase where definitely, a lot of you will feel it earlier, but definitely majority of you will be like, I don't even know how I made that save. Like I had no business making that save, but I got there because it pulls everything together and really does, you know, it feels like you're in a Formula One car out on the ice now, not like in the old, pin, mom and dad's old Pinto. You know what I mean? So that's how it's all laid out. And then the manual, it's detailed. There's step-by-step -step instructions. Uh, every, every phase, there's a little nutrition tip, just something to get you adding some of the other ingredients, what I call pro habits with the goalies that I train. What are things that are just little things we can do away from the ice, away from training, that's gonna make us a better athlete. And they're pretty simple to do, other than the one in phase four, it might be hard for some of you, but, <laughs> but they're pretty easy to do and they will make a difference. And they just get you making these positive changes day by day. Like I mentioned before, there are video tutorials of each and every exercise. The workouts don't take long. You don't need a bunch of specialized equipment. If you have some resistance bands and a couple pairs of dumbbells, that's perfect. You don't need anything more than that. And you don't need to spend an hour every day or even 45 minutes every day doing your training. It's pretty concise. If you have questions, I do a live Q and A every Thursday. So any questions that you have about your training program, I'll answer them on that live Q and A, which then a copy goes on my website, goalietrainingpro.com. A copy goes on my Instagram feed so you can get answers from me that way. If you wanna see if the Beer League Bootcamp is open for enrollment and just find all the other details, more breakdown of how it works, how much it costs, where you can get it, just click on the link in the description and you'll get all that information there. In the meantime, something special I put together for you guys because I actually love training adult goalies, beer league goalies, and it bothers me so much when you email me and apologize that you're just a beer league goalie because I actually love training you. So I wanted to 
build this program for you from the ground up so that you can have more fun. You can, when the college players come home in the summer, you can just shut them down, <laughs> make them so frustrated because it feels great. So I love you guys and I will catch you next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. Whoosh.